this is a very old Chinese juniper. It was brought to me by a customer who has had it since the 1960s. So she has owned it for about 50 years and the tree was probably imported by one of the early bonsai dealers in the UK in the very early 60s. So this tree I would reckon must be at least 80 years old as a bonsai. But as you can see, it has completely lost its shape. All the customer has ever done in the 50 years since she's owned it is keep the top pruned and she has repotted it every 10 years in the last 50 years. But the shape is no longer like that of a traditional bonsai and she has asked me to reshape it for her. So this is how I will go about it. The plan I have in mind is to make this tree a more triangular shape. As you can see, it is completely flat topped and it's like a box. So my plan is to take most of the branches this side completely off and make driftwood features out of this and concentrate on the beautiful trunk line that you find here as the main bonsai. So I will go about cutting it up. As you can see, I've cut all the branches off from the left hand side, which is virtually half the tree, and concentrate on this side as the bottom side. So this is the trunk line that I'm going to develop, and that will become the driftwood. Creating driftwood involves both carving the wood and also stripping the bark. When you cut a live branch, the bark comes away very easily. So using a pair of gin pliers, just crush the bark and it will just slide off. As simple as that. We are now ready to do some wiring. So because the branches are very old, and uh, very stiff we will need to use quite thick wire I'm using four and a half millimeter aluminium wire and I'm going to wrap it around two branches and as you know basic principle of all good wiring is to wire two branches with one piece of wire so I've used the single piece of wire to do this branch and that branch I will now do another two branches so we match the same thickness branches with the appropriate grade of wire. I have now put about four or five pairs of wires on the tree and as you can see I've already created a triangular shape which is completely different from the original shape 
of the tree which was flat topped. But looking closer at the tree, I find that if I tilt the tree at a slightly different angle, it gives it a better line. So I'm going to repot the tree in its new pot at that angle and that would make the tree look even better. So I will now continue wiring some more of these branches to flatten all the branches and then we will do a repot. I'm just teasing the roots out. It's not very pot bound because this tree was repotted I believe about three years ago. So as you can see the roots are not that tight in the pot. So I will just take enough to reposition it at that angle. Nice healthy root so the tree is growing strongly. Evergreen bonsai such as junipers and pines are better put in unglazed uh, ceramic pots, brown, dark colors. Uh, the bright glazed pots are more suitable for flowering trees and bright red maples but serene trees that have nice dark foliage are better in these pots. So the pot I've chosen is probably this one. It's deep enough for this so I'm going to pot it in this pot. This pot looks a bit small as I don't want to stress the tree I may find a larger pot. Aesthetically this pot is about the right size but as I don't want to cut too much root because cutting too much root would stress the tree I will go for a slightly bigger pot even though it may look bigger but this is the right size if the root ball was more compact so I will find yet another pot at the third attempt I've now found a slightly larger pot it's just on the large side but I think it's more comfortable for the tree and I will therefore use this tree uh, for this pot and I will tilt it at that angle so I will now pot it up in this one. For junipers and pines we prefer to use a very open mix so the compost I'm now going to mix consists of this Japanese volcanic pumice called Hyuga, some Japanese grit, very gritty stuff and also we will use orchid bark and also some Japanese akadama so I'm using four different materials in the mix. I'm using fairly large grains because the tree is quite large. If it was a smaller tree, I would use smaller grains. 